So I just got to my grandparents and they just sprinkled the whole way out here, but I didn't really check the weather to see if it's gonna rain, and I should have checked. So I'm looking at the radar, and the radar basically has the rain, like I'm like right at the edge of the big rain system coming in. I'm trying to decide what to do. As soon as I pull in, four deer go flying across the pasture. It wasn't for me. I don't know what kicked them up and made them go flying across the pasture. I don't really have rain gear hunting clothes, therefore I, I just don't know, but I'm not gonna be able to go hunting tomorrow. I don't know what to do. You know, I shaved my beard because it was itching so bad. And then somebody told me that I look like Toby from This Is Us, which isn't a bad thing. I was like, you know what? The beard's gotta go. It's too gray. But now, every time I get in front of the camera, all I can see is my double chin. The beard would hang down in front of my double chin. And I wanna see how fat I am. Now I gotta see how fat I am every time I turn the camera on. <sighs> Double-edged sword, I guess. No-win situation with this one. That horrible videography intro thing that I just did. It's a Ruger 1 chambered in 7x5, 7 7 Mauser. When you look at it, it looks like a 6.5 Creedmoor. I don't know a whole lot about the gun. I inherited the gun. I shot the gun, and then I really liked the gun. It's a Ruger 1, so it's one shot. It's a single shot. It had a really cheap scope on it. it had, I'm not going to knock the company, but it's a really cheap cheap company and they make cheap scopes and the scope that was on it I couldn't see the crosshairs anymore and I kept adjusting it and trying to focus it I could not I can't mm -mm, I can't see the crosshairs I took a scope off a different gun that I had I don't use and I really don't have any intentions on using four and a half by 12 by 50 so it's got it gets plenty of light it has plenty of zoom I only use it in the UP anyway I am dropping it off real quick I'm gonna get it uh, bore sighted and then this week I'll go out to the gun range and sight it in for sure, for real, for real, for real. I usually shoot at my grandparents, but since the deer activity is so good, I'm not gonna shoot this year there. Anyway, so I'm about to drop it off real quick and then that's about it. Woo, look at that double chin. I just got out of the store. I just, I didn't just get out. I got out like five minutes ago, forgot that I was vlogging as I went in and then came back out. So I went in there, I already had the new scope on there. He bore sighted it and he didn't even charge me because it was like off three clicks. It worked out in my favor. Can't wait to, to really get to the range and sight that gun in for real, for real. Don't, don't ask why I talk like a 90s teenager or I don't know, is that even 90s? It's like 2000s. 2000s teenager. I say bro all the time and then I, I don't know, I'm a weird dude. So that's all set and then I got my new gun ordered. Right now I'm headed out to my grandparents and then I'm going to be heading to Detroit to go pick up my son. Now I say Detroit. I'm saying Detroit because anybody that doesn't live in Michigan or lives far away from Detroit-ish area, they just call the Detroit area Detroit. I'm going to pick him up, but I'm running to my grandparents real quick to swap out my SD card and my batteries of the spy point camera and i haven't done a review on that i probably I, actually i will do a review on that at deer camp and i'm sure they're gonna have new cameras for next year but this should at least give you a good idea of what these cameras can do and how well they hold up i will say this i left that camera in the up I believe it was september 13th left the camera there i set it up there it is still semi taking pictures i think the batteries are going dead because the pictures are coming in very very white at first i was thinking well there's snow on the lens but it's 40 degrees so i don't think there's snow on the lens but it still has battery it has enough battery to send me pictures so i gotta say that's pretty good considering it's a cellular camera it's it's a cellular phone it's a camera with a cellular phone hooked up that only text messages photos that's better than my iphone i can tell you that at the end of this video i'll put some of the pictures that i got off my sd card because my SD card is full. Right there is my camera, and I really, really don't want to walk there. I'm gonna do this YouTube jump thing. That was super easy. Let's see if the camera's going. I'm gonna walk out here real quick, see if I can I get detected and get an image on my phone. So unfortunately, I used up all my magic getting out there. Now I have to walk back through all this water. The good thing is, is there's all this fiberish debris from the soybeans so it's not muddy I mean it's a little muddy but it's really not muddy usually I'll walk out here in the mud and just have it caked in the bottom of my boots I had it happen before where I was in a stand walked through the mud to get out there had a really nice buck 
walking behind me and goes to cross the fence row. I slightly turn my body and the mud on the bottom of my boots starts crumbling and hitting the leaves and he just got paranoid for all the right reasons, obviously. But this was opening day. This was October 1st, seven or eight years ago. But it was in that same stand I'm sitting in now. The new stand I put up, there's a dead tree right in front of it. And that dead tree used to have a stand in it. I actually had a dual stand. We used to film out of it. Yeah, it ended up running off. I got a picture of it somewhere. Oh, hello there. Uh, All right, there we go, there he is. That's Ethan. <laughs> so all the way to Detroit to pick him up. I recharged my magic powers, so I should be able to transport us right into Lansing right now. Ready? I think that time travel messed up my beard. We're back. The dogs are barking. Still got a double chin though. Yes! We just came out to my grandparents and my son's with me and we're gonna have him shoot his crossbow because he's gonna go out with me in the morning. I'm gonna let him shoot whatever he wants, but I'm hoping that he'll try to go for the fork buck. And I mean, I love to see that buck live, but he's never shot a deer before. So I feel like you kill a buck like that and you know, if that's your first buck you ever shoot, I feel like that's a great story to tell. So I'm, if given the opportunity, I'm gonna let him shoot that deer. I'm gonna pass it all day long. He's only here four days a month. So he's here every other weekend. If he wants to come out and he wants to shoot that deer, I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna scope in the field. So I put that new scope on, I wanted to see how it looked. Lo and behold, a fork buck is literally, was literally standing right in front of the blind that we're gonna be hunting tomorrow. It came out right beside it. He would have had a great shot if we'd have been back in time for him to shoot that buck. And right now it's standing in front of the camera at the Salt Lake. <sighs> you know, it's hunting, man. I think that's gonna be the new name of my vlog. It's hunting, man. I, at first I thought, I thought that that fork buck, cause when you see it from the side, you see the combination of the two antlers. So that one tall one, the regular full rack on the other side, and you put them together from the side, it looks like a huge buck. But then when he turns his head, you're like, oh, it's just you. But I thought it was the one I wanted to shoot. I was like, kind of mad. It's like, of course he shows up, you know, when I'm not hunting. And the wind is perfect right now. It's blowing out of the west. It would go right down the fence row. I mean, if the deer are in the fence row, it sucks, but most of them have been coming from that west that West Woods and um, West Woods and whatever I was gonna say. West Woods and uh, what am I gonna say? Pasture. Can I have some right now? Can I play Survival Island? What happened? Mm. I don't know. It shot out of thumb. I had on safety. What'd you hit? You thumb? I thumb. I see it. Ooh. Don't, don't look at it. It's not funny. Uh, Calm down. Get it above your head. Go get some ice from Grandma. I'm not sure what happened. Ethan hit his thumb with the crossbow. Right before I turned the camera on, he wanted to show me his hand. And he was like, can we go to the Wee Woo? And I don't understand what he's saying. I was like, what? He's like, the Wee Woo. And I was like, what is Wee Woo? He's like, Wee Woo, Wee Woo, Wee Woo, Wee Woo. <laughs> Stupid kids. Hendrick says he wants to stay here if we are. Try to move it. <laughs> this is all I can do. I was putting the arrow in it and it went off. The str so the, but the arrow didn't hit you? No. no. Uh, Cause it's a crossbow, not a bow. Crossbow, I don't so, know what it is. So means. like, basically you pull the string up, it latches. And you use a trigger to release it. So you have to pull the string up, get it latched, and then you put the arrow in. And as he was putting the arrow in, he must not have either had it latched all the way or he somehow pulled the trigger. Hey kiddos, don't play with crossbows. <laughs> so I don't know, he, he hasn't decided if he's going out in the morning. Probably not. He said that it'll make him feel better if you subscribe <laughs> and comment on my videos me, and like. Me. And um, I gotta go.